Hello, my name's Sandra. I'm a registered psychologist and counsellor with the Each Youth and Family team in Ringwood, Melbourne. Welcome to the first of our series of videos for young people, children, parents and carers. And today's video is on noticing feelings. Many people come to counselling because they are experiencing uncomfortable feelings, feelings that they often wish would go away. In order for us to explore this, we first need an idea of what those feelings might be. So I invite you to join me in an activity on this. All you'll need is a piece of paper and something to colour with. You don't need to be an artist and there's no right or wrong way to do this. And if drawing is not your thing, that's okay. Feel free to use body movement, dance, singing, music, whatever works for you. I will be talking fast for the sake of this video, so feel free to pause along the way and take your time with this activity. There are many ways we notice how we feel. This next activity is one way to explore what's going on for you. I invite you to experiment and see if it works for you. First, we draw a shape on the paper. It can be any shape that works for you. Then, take a moment to pick a colour that matches a feeling that comes to mind for you and shade your drawing into match. How bright or bold is that feeling? How heavy? How carefully is it coloured or is it rough around the edges? Does it go outside the lines? Does it fill your entire shape or just a part of it? Are there layers or swirls within or even jagged edges to your feelings? Go with what feels right for you. And are there other colours going on for you? Ones that maybe don't get your attention because the first feeling is so big or they're hidden within the other feelings? And if so, what are they? What do they look like? Do they blend in, clash or complement other colours going on for you? And keep on going until you've allowed all the colours, all the feelings to emerge and find a place on your paper. Now you can see that mixture of what you might be carrying around with you and it might be different later on today or tomorrow and that's okay. Feelings change and they come and go. And if you're able to and it feels right to you, put words to those feelings. And instead of colour, you might choose to use different textures in this activity or songs or music or body movements or some other way and that's okay. Do what works for you to allow space for the feelings to emerge. Sometimes when we do this activity, we notice that we can put words to the feelings. And if that's happened for you, that's great. Feel free to add those words to your drawing. At other times, we might discover a sense that we can't notice the feelings or a worry that they might carry us away or be too big for us. And if that's happened for you, that's also okay. Just use this activity to notice those feelings. In future videos, we'll be discussing what we can do with some of our feelings. I look forward to seeing you then.